I didn't grow up in a model home at all. It was a very broken situation. My oldest sister and I were basically enemies. She was very full of rage by the time she was an early teenager. And then my other sister was more of a, a comfort, more maternal, so she was more of a companion. As we got older, my oldest sister would disappear for years at a time. About in her mid-30s, she found sobriety, and we reconciled and had a great relationship. We talked, we shared, we prayed together. She would come to my church occasionally. She would bring her daughter to church. We got baptized together. She got very sick and walked into the hospital on a Monday with pneumonia. The years of drug abuse, they had taken their toll on her heart, and she passed away on Thursday. And then my second sister, her addiction just took over completely. She had taken her son's car, and she had lots of drugs and alcohol in her system, and she wasn't wearing a seatbelt, and she had hit another car and died instantly. When I got the phone call, I was devastated. The fact that there was no longer any hope that she would get better and that I could have a relationship with her, that, that things would be restored, all those things were gone forever. I always had felt like if I walked with the Lord, that he would protect me from harm. I have questioned God and what he's doing. And one of the biggest verses, which I continue to think about, is the Lord is our refuge and strength, a very present help in times of trouble. Knowing those things about the Lord were a great help to me. I mean, how can I be angry at the God of the universe who is so sweetly wooing my heart? Out of those things, I ended up starting a grief ministry at my church. And that's been a sweet experience for me. How cool that me, who never got my degree, has the opportunity to minister and counsel people who are grieving and suffering, which is so rewarding and fulfilling to me. And I'm so grateful to the Lord for how He works things out for our good and His glory.